Now we're going to look at friction on a rolling object. So basically that's an object with wheels. Okay, now a big difference between sliding friction and rolling friction is of course that these um, wheels are not uh, fixed, so they, they move along with the, the movement. So um, let's see what the effect is. When I do this experiment with this trolley, which is very uh, thin wheels and very solid as well. The rolling friction is such a low number that it's hardly possible to measure anything even with a spring balance with a range up to one newton. So we have to put a little bit more weight on top and then when we do the experiment uh, measure 0.0 for Newton. So that's very very little roll friction. At a slightly higher velocity I measure 0.05 Newton. So a little bit more. Uh, when I put more weight on top then the effect is that at the first speed I measure more it's 0.14 newtons very nice and at a slightly higher velocity I measure over 1 0.1 to 0.12 newtons so you see that the results of uh, a trolley with wheels measuring the rolling friction is a much lower number compared to sliding friction. So now the research question is upon which two factors does rolling friction depend? 